All right, this next section is section F, H. H right there, H. And it's all about control. This is going to be my implement of control. With this implement, I shall become the master of the universe. No, no, wait a minute, I'm getting carried away. That's not true. Actually, that goes on here. There's gonna be a spring loaded in there with it that's going to do something. I hadn't quite figured out what. I gotta, I gotta look at the coin instructions here more specifically to figure out exactly where that spring goes. Uh, looks like the spring. I need some glasses for my glasses. But it looks like the spring goes in the bottom of the handle up against that. So if that is true. Go like this. I'm gonna put this on there the way I think that's telling me to put it on there. Keep in mind that I don't know because I ain't never done one of these before. I'm I'm basically operating without any past experience with this kind of apparatus, so I could make a mistake. It could happen. I'm just saying I don't necessarily think I will, but it is possible. Now, I think that spring goes in there. I think that spring goes in there. And then the handle goes on somewhat like this. There's a little spring pressure. You have to push that down to get that bolt. There. I might need to stand up to get a little bolt pressure on that. I use a little screwdriver action to try to get that to go down far enough. That bolt fit where it gets too fast. Might need a bigger screwdriver. One of those places where you need about three hands. I just need to use my Popeye strength. Is that on? That's all you got to work with is your Popeye strength. Well, that's the first real challenge I had in putting this thing together. I guess I'm about to rise to the occasion here. That's possible. Right, I had to use a little bit of my Popeye strength to get that to come through, but you can see that it is coming through there now. This spring puts a little tension on that, so it's a little bit of a trick. But if you get it, if you get one side started, you kind of get one side screwing into it using the threads to push it through. You get your uh, tub at the right angle and you kind of lean your arm down on it. Once that goes through, we'll just lock that out on the end of this. That should take care of everything right there. Yeah. I've got a lock nut here. That should be fairly easy. Snug it up. Washer. These are those nylon lock nuts. Sitting on my other wrench. Yeah, it was. Okay. 
Okay, this is how this works. This, this little handle locks into here. You pull it out, you lock it straight up, or you can lock it straight down if you want to like store it where you won't have water standing in it. And uh, you can turn it over here to like, you get ready to pour your concrete out. If them blades are set up right, them blades will kind of work that concrete out uh, if you get it facing in the right direction. <coughs> uh, so, I guess the only thing left to do is put the motor on it. Oh, enjoy.